Welcome back to the next section of this course, where we'll continue our coverage of key operators in the Project Reactor Flux class. Here we'll be focusing on yet another factory method operator, Generate, which is used to create a flux stream in a particularly interesting way. The Generate operator creates a flux by generating signals one by one via a callback. This callback is provided as a parameter, and this parameter is typically called in a loop after a downstream observer has subscribed. The callback, as we'll see shortly when we look at the example, should be used to call next, error, or complete to signal a value or a terminal event. A new flux instance is returned from generate. Here's an example. One interesting about this example is that generate is only allowed to generate one event at a time, which helps to support back pressure. So in this particular example, you can see we use the flux generate method to take a synchronous sync sync parameter as a lambda expression and then call its next method in order to be able to generate a random big fraction. And so this particular method is going to just keep generating a stream of random unreduced big fractions. In contrast, the create method that we looked at before, which is one of the other factor methods discussed earlier in the context of the flux class, will simply produce events whenever it wishes to do so. In other words, it ignores back pressure. So therefore you can end up creating many events far more than you could perhaps process based on the way in which you've set up your concurrency architecture in a given implementation using Project Reactor and Flux. There's also a generate operator that's defined in RxJava's observable class, and it works in a very similar way, although it doesn't take a synchronous sync, instead it takes an emitter. And you can see in this particular example that this particular generate method takes a lambda expression that will continue to emit random big fractions using the on next method that's part of the emitter interface. Similar concept, slightly different type systems. And you'll see a lot of those subtle differences between Project Reactor and RxJava with respect to methods like create and generate. There's also a Java streams generate method as well, which can be used in a similar way. So here's an example of how you could use the Java streams generate method in order to be able to generate a stream of random, large, and unreduced big fractions. Once again, very similar concepts, just slightly different ways of calling this and slightly different types that are passed in and used in different ways in different contexts. So that's the end of yet another discussion of factory methods that are useful in the context of Project Reactor's Flux class.